We've just had an extremely informative and useful meeting here with the United Nations Humanitarian Agency where we were told not just about the situation in the West Bank but also in Gaza so we saw the whole picture in terms of Palestine and, and its future and we looked at, at issues on the economy, um, social issues and I think we all came out feeling very depressed. Um, I think the, the idea and our commitment to a two-state solution is, is being severely tested because all of the evidence shows now that that's becoming more and more unlikely and unachievable and that's because of Israeli government policy. We still believe in the two-state solution but we are being challenged to, to think uh, what the possible alternative could be if that doesn't happen and I think we'll, we'll all uh, return from this trip asking ourselves very serious questions about the future. We are going now to look at the, the um, some of the other aspects that are, are so difficult to the wall of course which is affecting not only communities but the economy as well those are the things that we need to change if we are going to see a Palestinian state in future and that's what we remain committed to. This is the, called the Silwan area, it's a very densely populated area and we've been talking to some of the, the residents here. Every one of these houses has been issued with a demolition order and the people are harassed daily by security, by the, the uh, workers for the municipality, the children are afraid to go out on their own. It's really a terrible story. But it's not that the people haven't done anything themselves. They spent five years working on a plan to develop this whole area, to, to renew the area, to build new housing. They worked with the, the council, with the municipality in Jerusalem. They listened to what advice they were given. And at the end of the day, their plans were rejected by 20 votes with one abstention. When I asked why one person abstained, they said, that's important for democracy.